Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about React Reason and Jordan Walk. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, what's your opinion on Reason ML and React Reason and React after Jordan Walk quit Facebook to go at it alone? Well, I don't really have an opinion on this. I'm for, I'm, I'm just going to say it like it is. I, I, I really don't have one. I'm unfortunately in that stage now where I, well, when the subscriber posted this question to me, I realized that, well, I don't know the first thing about React Reason or Reason ML. Not a clue. I had to Google it. And after looking it through, my first, literally my first response, like my, my first thought was, why would I need this? What value does this bring? I might as well just use TypeScript, or I, I do use TypeScript with React. And the fact that Jordan Walk uh, moves away from from Facebook, I don't really know why that would in any way impact the framework in any significant. Like, uh, I know that I mean, of course, it's going to have an impact, but. Uh, the thing I wrote back to the subscriber was that from my perspective, React is just a tool. It's it's always just been a tool and it's always going to be a tool uh, that is going to be useful up until a point where we find something better. And I don't think, and this is me getting extremely opinionated now, I want you to understand that what I'm saying right now is not a representation of anyone else than myself. This is just me, bitter old Frederick, who is unfortunately uh, way 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 too tired of uh, fighting over which new uh, flavor of the month tool we should use in front end to uh, th th this is me this is me saying this in my opinion nothing significant that made a real difference to my personal workflow and the productivity of me and my teams and the people that I work have worked with in the past with react has happened since before the I, I would even say, I would say that hooks are a nice to have but the basic framework was pretty much settled once we started moving away from mixins mixins were fairly complicated for everybody I think and after that point like the interfaces and everything we've been doing hasn't really done it hasn't really changed all that much much I mean my stack when I work with react is pretty much React, React Router, Redux, if I'm using, like, I mean, I would like to say that I was using the app context APIs and so forth, but Redux does still have a place, at least for me, like there are a few things, like uh, it is still a very nice library. Uh, and well, I did say TypeScript, right? Oh, and React Router, of course. These are like the basics, like the, the, the there's, I, I cannot imagine a smaller kernel except for maybe Redux if you're gonna do large-scale development with React. And all this other stuff that, you know, Saga or Reason or so forth, I mean, it's great. If you like these things and you think that they're bringing you some type of value, then go for it. I'm not in any way dissuading, trying to dissuade you from using these things. It's just for me, the, the main, like 80% of the value that React brings was established way before any of this stuff came along. It's really, to me, to, uh, it has gotten to a point where I don't feel that I need much more. Like it's really, it's not really getting anywhere else. I mean, there are definitely things, let's say Jest. Well, Jest is a very useful thing if we're not just specifically talking about React here, but Jest I think is a great thing. And there are there were a few nice innovations that came with say Enzyme and rendering and so forth. But and I will give you that, I mean, I use these things as well, but I really don't see how Jordan Walk not being part of it or like leaving Facebook or, you know, adding something like Reason ML or React Reason would in any way give you something, give you something other than something extremely subjective. I think that we should continue developing React and I think that there are m many interesting new places we could take the library and like the community and so forth. But so far, it, as I was saying, you, in my opinion, you get 80% of the total value of using the stack 
from the same things that have been around for quite some time. And I know how that, how that sounds. That sounds like the oldest, most bitter Java or C++ or C developer saying that, oh, everything new is bullshit. I'm not trying to be that guy. I'm simply saying that so far, I've never really felt that something, something has come along since that really made me go, wow, this actually solves this big problem that I've been having. Because most of the stuff, they honest to God, I think they got React really right fairly, fairly quickly. It's been a very smooth experience for, 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 from my perspective at the very least. So what I want you to take away from this is that I don't really have much of an opinion on React Reason or React uh, Reason ML or something, anything like that because I don't, I, I don't use it and I don't see a reason to use it. And as for Jordan Walk quitting Facebook, I don't really see any problems with that either because uh, I mean the code like React as it is today. Even if you were to stop development right here, right now, um, let's just say focus on bug fixing or something like that, the framework is, or the, the, the tool suite, the library and all the tools surrounding it that I need personally, and I think that most people are using, they are where they need to be. There are things to be fixed, and there, you mean you can make the thing faster and like all these other, this other stuff, but the core of it all, I think it's pretty good. I really do. I don't see anything, any major holes that needs to be plugged at this point. And sure, I'm sure that there are some, but overall, I'm pretty happy with where React is right now. Have a great day.